Hello, 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 welcome to Firearms of America and today as you guys can see I have another shoulder holster rig to review and this is DeSantis New York Undercover. For this video I'm going to use my 1911 for a demonstration purposes. Safety first, make sure there is nothing in there. Actually I'm going to need to have it cocked. I'm going to need to have the hammer back because it is not going to lock if we don't have the hammer back uh, because the strap actually goes over the hammer and of course I do have two magazines which I'm gonna take out one to demonstrate with the magazine pouch now these are different size magazines as you guys can see one is the a round and one is extended nine round magazine from Wilson combat and as you can see this magazine pouch can accommodate both so, a little bit about DeSantis, uh, this company, they have been doing holsters from 1970s, so 50 years of making holsters, so these guys are pretty experienced. This is uh, top grain cowhide leather, excellent quality, feels really, really good, I mean, it's so comfortable to wear, and in general, if you guys watched any of my videos, uh, if you've been following this channel, you know that I'm a huge fan of shoulder holsters in general. I think they are just some of the best holsters out there. This position to carry. First of all, it's easy to draw, very fast and very simple. It's sort of that natural position, but also the variation of things that you can do. It doesn't restrict your movement in any way. You can jump around, move around. Uh, do flips and you still are able to do all of these things so there's really no restriction of the movement and besides you know switching the positions if you're walking around with a shoulder holster obviously comfortable sitting down definitely comfortable because there's really nothing in the back besides the back plate um, even laying down you can sleep with the shoulder holster and still be comfortable. Unlike, for example, with your traditional appendix carry holster or a back uh, concealed carry, however you're carrying, you know, one of those side holsters, obviously you're having the bulge either on the back, on the front or on the sides. Not the case here, because here really this position, you still have your arms hanging and just a little bit of extra something. Uh, the only thing I wanted to mention here is if you are getting this holster with a full-size pistol, like for example mine, five inch, and you're planning to conceal carry, I do recommend getting a vertical holster because obviously the profile will be less and it will be easier for you to conceal this, uh, the full-size pistol. Okay, so let's talk about the features of this holster. There are a few special ones. Uh, first of all, let me take it off and uh, show you the back plate. Uh, the back plate, in a way, is unique and a little bit different to some of the shoulder holsters that I've already reviewed on this channel. Uh, as you can see, the straps can actually slide around in it much freer. And basically, it allows for an easier adjustment whenever you're putting it on. Usually, at least with my other shoulder holster, I do have to kind of go through the adjustment and make sure that the straps do line up together because here it kind of naturally forms into shape. Uh, another thing, interesting thing that I wanted to mention is that there are buttons here that you can disconnect the straps from the magazine pouch and from the holster. Now, this can be used for easier taking it off and putting it on, especially in my case, because as you can see, I do like to carry my shoulder holster up here about two, three inches from the armpit, so closer. It really matter of preference. You can carry it lower if you want, but I noticed personally that whenever you're carrying your gun lower, it kind of allows for more of a flap. So whenever you're carrying it close up, you can move around and kind of even hold it in place compared to if it was hanging down here for example. But again, it's really the matter of personal preference. However, with the magazine pouch, this allows, and again, let me take it off so I can show you. As you can see, currently, it's in a down, downright position, but it allows for easier 
position change so if you don't like to wear it downwards you can quickly switch it to carry it sideways and uh, really quick mention regarding these buttons uh, that's what I've been personally thinking so might as well share it I know you're thinking buttons uh, easy disconnect you know you're wearing your holster and accidentally pull too hard or if it's a heavier pistol like mine obviously there is no ammo in it right now so it's lighter and will get even heavier with the ammo in it would the buttons are would be reliable well the buttons actually do have a special disconnect system uh, as you can see on the inside they do have that sort of a hook and if you are not pulling on it properly you won't be able to disconnect it so it's a very specific disconnect mechanism you do actually get instructions to understand it because I had to figure it out it's not so easy to disconnect it if you're trying to do it improperly which prevents from the accidental disconnect anyway as you can see now I do have the magazine pouch in sideways position which is nice one thing I wanted to mention here a little bit not really a complaint but a little bit thing you know to keep in mind is that the pouch has a very relaxed fit now not the case with my other magazine because the magazine itself is thicker and as you can see it's not gonna automatically eject this is just the way the magazine is so this magazine sits nice and tight because it is nice and tight actually I don't need to close this nice and tight in a pistol but this Wilson combat magazine it is designed to have that quick eject right this one will slide out easily out of your magazine pouch so what I'm trying to say is I do wish that the sentence did implement uh, a tension screw on the magazine pouch so that you can adjust if you have a preference to have your magazines slide out easily like this one for example you can do it or if you want a tighter fit for example which can be useful if you're carrying the magazine pouch downwards you know you up or you open the strap and magazine stay in place can be helpful not really a huge deal breaker or anything like that but I think would be nice just as an extra feature now let's talk about the whole holster itself uh, the draw like I said is very natural it feels very natural and typically you would draw either like this which I'm not a big fan of more of like this type of guy it's a little bit easier uh, but one thing I wanted to mention about this specific particular pistol uh, 6 hour 1911s they do have uh, a little bit of uh, different shape not a standard 1911 frame it looks exactly like a normal 1911 but but if you look at the front of the slide it is a little bit more squared off for example compared to a standard if you take for example Colt 1911 or uh, Springfield 1911 they do have a rounder edges on the slide as you can see on this picture which thanks to Alien Gear they're the ones who sent me that picture very very helpful uh, to kind of give you an idea so typically what, what the point I'm trying to make here typically this particular gun this particular 1911 is a much tighter fit whenever it comes to holsters uh, that are designed for 1911 because they designed these holsters specifically with the idea in mind that is going to be a standard 1911 frame this is not a standard 1911 so it would be a tighter fit however here as you can see it fits more relaxed so again the point that I'm trying to make is that your standard 1911 frame is going to be a relaxed fit on this shoulder holster from the factory however this is a really nice feature that I really do like it does feature the adjustment the tension adjustment screw as you can see right here so if you don't like that relaxed 
draw, relaxed fit. If you do like your gun sitting tighter inside of the holster, you can definitely adjust it. Great. Uh, one thing really quickly I wanted to mention here about the straps. These straps, as you can see, are wider than your typical shoulder holster rig, which I do like a lot because it contributes towards better redistribution of weight. Another thing whenever it comes to adjustment, which is sort of unique to this particular holster, is as you can see it doesn't have the typical Chicago style screws that you would typically have in your shoulder holster rig. Here it actually features simple buttons that you don't need any tools to adjust, all you really need to do is just take the button out, switch it and put it in a new position. And again, you might think that, you know, button not very secure, but so far in my experience, it has been very, very secure. I didn't have anything unlocking uh, anything out of the ordinary. And if you notice at the actual idea behind this adjustment system, you will see that the cut is only on the top. So all the weight obviously is pulling down. So there isn't really a way for the button to get out. So overall, I am definitely a big fan of this particular shoulder holster system. Uh, if you are interested to see a big comparison of all the shoulder holster rigs that I have, uh, definitely do subscribe because there will be more reviews coming and I will have one ultimate comparison video of all the shoulder rigs. So far, uh, I have DeSantis, I have Acre, I'm gonna have the Alien Gear, and I do have a one European shoulder holster system coming my way all the way from Slovakia. Yes, some Italian leather. So we'll see how uh, that turns out. One last thing I wanted to mention, of course, is the price. The price is currently $200, a little bit short of $200, $197. I've attached the link to the official website of DeSantis in the description below if you want to check it out. Uh, I definitely think compared to a lot of other competition out there, the price is definitely fair, uh, especially for the quality, made in USA, definitely very important, uh, the quality of the leather, all of the features, and overall feel and look, I think definitely worth the money. If you never tried a shoulder holster rig, I definitely, definitely highly recommend you try it because really the comfort level is just not like anything else that is out there. So thank you very much guys for watching. Like I said, if you are interested in seeing some more reviews, definitely make sure to subscribe. If this video was useful, hit the like button. It definitely helps. Uh, if you have any comments or any requests for reviews, you can drop them in the comments below and I try to address them uh, whenever I get a chance as a priority. Thank you very much guys for watching. This was Firearms of America. I'll see you guys in the next video.